As the trumpeter signals that the first of 32 floral sculptured floats and 21 marching and dancing bands will pass in review. First, the mass colors. Following the stars and stripes, the nine other flags which have flown in this country since the first English landing in North America. Then, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Posse. Parade Grand Marshal Paul Hoffman, administrator of the Marshall Plan. Tournament President Drummond J. McCunn rides in a car covered with 2,000 roses. The theme of this year's parade is Our American Heritage, and the long-awaited first float contains Her Majesty the Queen. This is the official float of the Tournament of Roses Association. Queen Marion Brown, in her royal robes, rules from her throne, set in the center of a towering golden crown studded with jewels of flowers. She is flanked by her court of six lovely princesses gowned in flowing satin. The huge royal scarlet robe is of red chrysanthemum. White ones form the ermine trimming, and black magnolia leaves the ermine tail. On the heels of the royal float rides the chairman of the Pasadena City Board and incidentally, the mayor of Pasadena, A. Ray Benedict. Does the equestrian look familiar to you? Well, he should. It's Bill Boyd, screen and television star, better known, perhaps, as Hopalong Cassidy. The Ohio State University Band. This year marks Ohio State's debut in the parade. A few hours later, the Buckeyes defeated the California Bears 17 to 14 in the Rose Bowl game. An Ohio State co-ed is enthroned in the mammoth split Buckeye. The city of Monterey Park captured the parade theme prize by reproducing in flowers the famous painting of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. There are floral figures of Jefferson, John Hancock, John Adams, and others. At the front, three girls read a copy of the historic document. Springfield, Illinois, brought Abe Lincoln's Springfield home and the Lincoln Monument. That's the mayor of Springfield, costumed as Honest Abe. Then the University of California Band. California's tribute to athletics. The bear mascot, Oski, kicks a football on a rainbow path through the goalpost. The governor's trophy was taken by Inglewood. Roses, carnations, iris, bachelor buttons, and chrysanthemums were used to reproduce six of the flags which have flown over California, each one held by a girl in the costume of the period represented. The best city entry took the mayor's trophy with the scene of the moment the pilgrims landed at Plymouth Rock. The Mayflower is anchored offshore against a winter sky of flame red flowers streaked with gray clouds. The beautiful entry of the Pasadena Light and Water Department. Then the Union Oil Company's Legends of America. There's Paul Bunyan, Rip Van Winkle, Ichabod Crane, The Headless Horseman, Johnny Appleseed, and Pecos Bill. Santa Monica shows the old and the new in flowers. The Army biplanes that made the first world flight and shooting out into space a replica of the Douglas Skyrocket. Sierra Madre's float pictures an old-fashioned kitchen with a spinning wheel in the center. The best out-of-state entry won the national trophy, taken this year by Santa Fe, New Mexico, with a floral fiesta. Six Indian dancers performed before the sun god shield, the ritual of burning Zozo Bra, the Pueblo name for old man gloom. The Shamrock Hotel at Houston, Texas, sent out this floral model of itself, resting on the edge of a Texas lone star. And to bolster the Texas claim to the world's most beautiful girls, Miss Texas, and six other lovelies bask on the edge of the swimming pool. Among the 14 varieties of flowers used were orchids, roses, calla lilies, and birds of paradise. Now here's an American institution, a 12-foot hot dog, made of pom-pom chrysanthemums, complete with dripping mustard. And in the front of this realistic Santa Anita village float, a beach party scene with girls, a bonfire, and even a beach umbrella. 
With their all-American heritage, Stockton pays tribute to its own hero, Eddie LeBaron, the College of the Pacific All-American football star. The float shows a huge animated floral football player standing between the goalposts. This beauty seems a child's dream come true. Treasure Tone Paint presents a free flowered circus called Fun for Kids, and rightly so. Bozo the Clown is surrounded by an animated menagerie, and two circus girls assist the midget Barker to keep the show moving right along. The President's Trophy for the most effective use of roses went to San Diego for the birthplace of California. Three Indians and the Spanish Padre are raising a 12-foot cross of gardenias in front of Mission San Diego. 7,000 roses were used. San Francisco sent her famous seal rock with four floral seals poised above the waters. From Burbank came the Mayflower sailing on a sea of blue cornflowers and delphinium. America, the land of plenty, is symbolized by the National Orange Show with giant citrus fruit made of roses, sweet peas, and chrysanthemums. Three former queens of the show are on the float, and at least one Iris Schidler on the far front orange combines brains with beauty. It's reported that she wears long woolen underwear beneath her taffeta gown. Riverside commemorates an Easter sunrise service with a choir of 18 singers from the Riverside Polytechnic High School, singing at the foot of a floral mountain. Barstow's float, Home on the Range, has sunrise over the Sierra Nevadas for its background. A flower-filled valley and waterfall on the front side, and a thirsty desert prospector on the other. The Sweepstakes Award for the most beautiful entry goes to Long Beach for the second consecutive year. This elaborate float depicts freedom. It features a fountain, graceful doves with seven-foot wings outstretched in flight, and a queen and her princesses who reign over the delicate beauty of the peaceful garden. <laughs> California Institute of Technology produced this floral model of the 200-inch Palomar Telescope. All in flowers, Huntington Park brought the old-time country doctor in a one-horse shay and a floral stork arriving with a baby. Feminine pulchritude and mass from San Pedro. The girls in the floral beach scene are modeling bathing suits, as you can easily see. From the style of Grandma's Day to the newest creation. My, how we've progressed. Gardena recalls her own early days with this mammoth strawberry made of red carnation. Nine girls are on the float, two of them riding the cute winking bumblebees up front. It's estimated that over eight million flowers went into the production of the 72 floats in this parade. But as you can see, it was well worth the effort. Uncle Sam himself, 15 feet tall and made of red, white, and blue flowers. He rides on the float of the West Colorado neighbors, rising and bowing to the crowd, a symbol of friendship. This 35-foot violin of white pom-poms occupies the Portland Rose Festival float. The combination of music and pretty girls made it the winner for cities over 50,000 population outside of California. And finally, the grand prize winner. Teaming along to first award in the commercial division, this huge floral reproduction of a traditional Mississippi floating theater entered by the Southern California Edison Company. The paddle wheel revolves, smoke pours realistically from its smokestack, and costumed passengers stroll about the deck. As she steams by, another tournament of roses goes with her. Some spectators arrived before dawn to await the start, but everyone seemed amply rewarded. They endorsed the remark of one dazzled visitor who said, I came 2,000 miles to see it, and it was worth every mile.